welcome to video two on knee problems. So we have established that knee problems are generally more than 50% caused by muscular imbalances. You may very well have arthritis or cartilage problems or a meniscus tear, but you don't necessarily have to have knee pain with arthritis. But you can get quite significant amount of pain if the legs are imbalanced. Generally, what we see is underutilized hamstrings, overutilized quads. We see weak inner thighs and strong dominant outer thighs. And these can all have an effect on your knee. So we're going to run through a few exercises today. I want to start on waking up your hamstrings, warming the biggest muscles in your body. And by doing that, you'll warm your whole body. So heel to bum, bring your hands across your chest, because if you bring your arms up, you'll start to make the heart, wake, heart work a little harder. Then lift the arms above your head and it will all come together much quicker. Good. Well done. So step touch and do it some more. If you're not feeling warm enough, keep going. Heels to bum. I want you to feel as if your heart rate is lifting just a little bit. And that means you're gonna function better and the muscles are warm. So if you find that a wheat bag or a hot water bottle or an electric blanket keeps your muscles warm and keeps you pain free, then I would suggest that the pain is caused by muscle imbalance, muscle issue. Good, so my hamstrings are nice and warm now. So I'd like you to turn side on and bring your right heel up to your bum. Let's do 10 of those, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring that heel up and kick it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can put it on the floor if you want. Eight, nine, ten. I'm going to lift with a bent knee. One. And that's getting into my bum, but also my glute meats. Two. Use a chair. Three, four, five. Six, seven, well done, eight, nine, and ten. Shake it out. Try it on the other side. Heel to bum, heel to bum, heel to bum. Yeah, get that leg warm. Use the chair if you don't feel stable, or use your core muscles, which is what I would prefer. Now bring the heel up and kick back. One, two, three, four, Five, well done. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now bend the knee and pulse up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. A little bend in the supporting knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it down. A little bit of quad work, a little bit of thigh work. Push your bottom down and stand up. Now when we do parallel squats, your feet need to be hip distance and your knees need to run forward over your toes. So let's climb up onto our toes to get the calves strong. So if you build the muscles around the joint, then you're going to get much healthier, much happier knees. Please watch what you're doing here. Don't let the knees collapse. Watch your body. Knee over your second and third toe. Push forward. Bum pushes back. Let's just do another five. See how my spine is nice and long. I'm not rounding my shoulders. Nice and long. So you're sitting your bum back into a seat. Well done, shake that out. Now let's use a band. Take the band. Now I've tried all sorts of various bands and over the years I've come to these. These are all fine, they're just a little bit weak and you tend to go through them quite quickly. So we're going to strengthen the inner thigh. Hips still, hold the band so your fingers go under, thumb on top, and pull the band across. And what you don't want to do is swing. Pilates is all about isolation. Isolate 
your muscle. Isolate your core, use it. Do another 10 of those. Another nine. Eight. Seven. Six, good work. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's do that on the other leg. So you take the leg out, you keep the body still. Wonderful, you could use a chair again, or bring your hand to your hip, and lift your crown nice and tall to the ceiling. Be careful with your toes. So I'm working your inner thigh. So your toes should be facing forward. If you're turning your toes up, you're moving your pelvis. Second set of 10, nine, Eight. The further across you go, seven, the more you're going to work your inner thigh. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So stretches that are associated with hamstring, with knee issues, hamstring stretches. So you want to push your bottom high. If you flex your foot, toes up, you'll get into your calves as well. And you should feel that run all the way up. Good. Other side. Heel up. Sorry, heel down, toes up. Push your bum right up to the ceiling and feel it run down. Good. And a standing way of getting into the IT band, it's called the ITB band, right up here that can pull the knee, I know, runners do it an awful lot, is to bring the ankle over. That's level one, it's not a very big stretch, I'll be honest. Level two is to put the ankle on the thigh and sit down. And placing your hands on your legs, that pressure goes deeper into the IT band, but also into the piriformis. So your back is nice and long, you push your bottom down. That's it. Good, and then we'll try that on the other side. So level one, ankle over, excuse me, losing my balance, and level two, ankle on thigh, push your bottom back as if you're taking a seat. Let your hands rest on your legs, and you should feel that. So I'm not pushing down on my thigh, I'm just laying my hands gently on my legs. Good. So add those exercises in for your last week and see how you get on. Bye.